if anybody can point me towards a video on how to get more of these relics from the Iron Lords themselves. They've got some pretty good ones on sale this week, and I would really like to get all three. There is both an achievement and a thing you need for the new book. To be able to get all eight, she only sells three at a time. I got the one that lets you temporarily turn targets against their allies by meleeing them. This, me and my wife have experimented with thoroughly. It works on any red bar enemy. It says melee attacks on minor minions, so we assumed it meant like dregs and thralls and like scions and maybe the cabal. But it means anybody who's not a yellow bar or a boss. So you can go punch a red bar captain and that sucker will work for you. The time limit on this is also great. It works for about 30 seconds before the guy turns back to not being your minion and you have to shoot him to finish him off. You can tell they're under your control because their names go blue like any other ally in the game and they get this whirling cool yellow white mist thing around their heads and they actually do do damage. It's not just some guy won't shoot at you. It's they will legit attack people. Um, if you're a big crucible guy, you don't like thorn, you don't like getting set on fire, I would really me I would really recommend the memory of Silamar. Intellect discipline, so if you're a melee guy, it doesn't really work for you as well. But this is the one that will give you resistance to damage over time attacks. So, yes, they're bringing back thorn, but this says screw thorn. Uh, this one... If you really like to sprint a lot, either in the Crucible or not in the Crucible, and you notice after you've sprinted that there's that three or four second period where you can't sprint, stop, and then sprint again, the memory of Jolder takes that away. Now me, I really like PvE and having one or two extra buddies of mine... Like, being able to turn a captain or being able to turn one of the enemy snipers is great. Me and my wife have gotten one Iron Lord's Legacy as part of the story, so we don't know exactly how to get another one. I will probably YouTube that later today, hoping maybe someone found something I haven't yet. We're grateful for the help. Um, other than that, if you get the Gallarhorn quest, I would say market is active because the items you need to find for that are a pain in the butt to find without marking it as your active quest. Marking it as your active quest will mean thing like you will get item icons to help you find these things you need. My wife and I are having great fun. Um, there is a jump puzzle in the Iron Temple. I would recommend you have at least this much agility when you do it, else you can't make a lot of these jumps. Uh, it took me about an hour to get this jump puzzle solved, and then it took me another hour because my wife was having some trouble and getting frustrated and asked me if I could get her a bit of the way, and at that point she's like, I'm going After to get a snack, years, and I got her the whole way up, and it was great. Uh, you can go all the way up to, oh goodness, I can see the final spot from here, it is so high up, it is great. Uh, let's see if we can see somebody falling off real fast. Nope. Um, but no, the Iron Ban, the, uh, Rise of Iron, I'm gonna name it a definite success. Cause after just a day, I'm already wondering, like, what else is waiting? There's an achieve. There's a thing in the book. Let, I keep talking about the book. Let's look at the book. <clears throat> uh, also, each piece of the book gives you the new gear, which is great. Winter's End shotgun. Now, I don't like this shotgun as much. The one you can get from Dead Orbit, I think, is better. Although this gun does look sweet, and since you can get it for free, I'm going to keep it around. 
They have their own ship, which you might recognize. Um, I was told there, I really want this emblem, because this looks really sweet. They've got their own ghost shell, which in this little picture doesn't look all that good, but when you zoom it in, it's got the silver, it's got the gold, it's got the vines and the ivy, like in most of the Iron Banner stuff, looking really good.